So, now, I've got volume, but I've got it as a function of R and H. Okay, so now I need to get rid of an R or get rid of an H. So the question is, which one should I get rid of? Now, I should say, you really can choose either. You, you actually can, and the maths will work out just fine. Okay, but one is easier than the other. Okay. Now, which would, you get, which would you guess is easier to get rid of? Okay. Now, the H is easier to get rid of. The question is, how do I know the H is easier to get rid of it's than the R? Okay? And the answer is it's not squared. Okay? If I were to replace the R with something in terms of H's, I'm going to introduce a square root in there. Right? So this will be in terms of something like H, and it will be square root of H blah 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 times H. And there will be my formula for volume. That's gross. Don't want to do that. So therefore, I'm going to get rid of R. Okay? Now, the question helps you a lot here, and I'm going to help you a lot here. How are you going to get a relationship between R and H that will allow you to eliminate one of them out? Okay. Now, the question gives you a huge hand, and it says, by similar triangles. Now, where, where are the triangles well, I've seen in here? This question before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you should have. It's quite common, really. Where are the triangles? Let me help you see them. Again, I gave it to you in the hardest form, so it wouldn't just like be obvious to you. Here are where the triangles are. Down here, here, and here. Okay. Now, did I do it right? Yeah. Oh, I uh, hold on. I didn't really need that to help. Okay. So there weren't triangles that were obvious there, but triangles are what I'm going to use. Now, how do I know? How did I know to go apart from having done this question before? Okay. I need a relationship between R and H. It's clearly going to be a relationship of proportionality, right? They're proportional to each other. As one gets bigger, the other gets smaller. Um, just to use your year 10 language, it's inverse variation, okay? As the radius is bigger, the height gets smaller, okay? So if I'm thinking proportionality, you know, like what kind of geometry gives me proportional relationships? Relationships that are in ratio. And the answer is similar triangles, okay? Are the triangles the smaller one? Does yep. it have its, um, the, the base? The edge of the yeah, everything is, so it's inscribed, so it's the biggest okay. I can possibly get. Okay. Alright, now, to help you see it a little more clearly, because at the moment it's in the middle of this weird, gross 3D diagram, let's draw this just as a cross section. Okay. So I've just sliced across, and you can see I've got this triangle here, I've drawn it over here. When I look at the cylinder side on, it's just a rectangle, yeah? Like that. Okay. Now I've got a whole bunch of dimensions on here, right? I know what the uh, diameter, sorry, the radius of my um, cylinder is. I also know what the radius of the, um, the cone is. It's lowercase <coughs> r, the base here, okay? Which makes this little distance in here, this one here, what's it equal to? Uh, bigger, small r minus bigger. Small r minus bigger. Can I take um, Reynard and Raphael at the same time? I need for a sec. Yeah. Okay. So, good. I've set up all of this. I do it all together so that I don't mix up what's going on. Now let's do our vertical part, right? What have I got here? What's the height of my cylinder? It's capital H, right? Capital H, okay. And then I've got the height of the big thing, which is... Little H. Okay, now, I could call this H minus H. I'm not going to because I don't need it. Now the question is how do I know that I don't need it? I've got everything I need for my similar triangles. What are the similar triangles? Where are they? Um, that one with that one. <laughs> <laughs> there's a small one and there's a big one. Right now I can choose a whole variety, but it looks to me like the easiest ones I've got are this triangle in here. That's a small one. Okay. And then the big overall one that makes up the cone. Does that make sense? Can you see why this one's more interesting to me than this one? Can you see why? Because it has a set note. Same height as the small one. All the R stuff. Okay, there's, there's a variety of reasons. These one, two, three, they are all similar to each other. Okay. The reason why this one is more interesting to me than this one is because this one has both of the dimensions that I'm after. It's got that H that I'm trying to get rid of. See, that capital R. H. And it's got the R's. Now, if I went to here, right, the H that I'm trying to get rid of would be sort of tangled up with the other H. You see that? I, I could do it. I could. But I I'd rather not. Okay? I just want H just on its own. And this is the triangle which has H, capital H, just on its own, which will make eliminating it a lot easier.
okay? Can you see I'm trying to guide you through, like you have to choose. You have to make choices about which direction you're going. It's not just laid out for you, oh, there's a formula, I do one, two, three. Okay, yeah, absolutely, yes. Now I'm drawing it out, admittedly. Like I said, the actual question just gives you the steps. It doesn't force you to think about the steps, okay? But a harder to unit question will just say, well, off you go, tell me what the volume is, okay? At the end, I'll tie this all up in a big, nice neat bow, and you will see it a lot more, obviously. Okay, so now I've got my triangles ready. I've got this little triangle, I've got an angle here, which is in common, and then I've got a right angle here and a right angle here, right? So it's equally angular. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, can I, is Divi here? I'm in for a minute. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I don't need anything else. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm not going to labor the point. I'm just going to get the statement out that I need. Depending on the question, they'll ask for more or less detail. But all I want is a statement of proportionality, right? So I've got a little triangle in here, right? The big H, what does it correspond to? What side does it correspond to? I'm comparing one triangle to another, right? So it corresponds to the height of the big triangle. Height in the little triangle, height in the big triangle. Yes? It's a bit confusing that they've done big and little backwards, but anyway, okay? What am I going to compare that to? I'm going to compare it to this width, and this width, do you see that? Little width, big width, okay? So I've got R, take away R, all over, little R. Are you okay with that? Okay, now I'm almost there. All I want to do is to get rid of that H, right? So if I get him on his own, like so, it doesn't look very nice. But don't forget, little H, little R, and little R again, they're just numbers. They're just numbers. So I'm done, that's it. Right? That's what I'm going to use and put it into the volume. Okay? So now I can say, therefore, the volume is, not in terms of two variables, but just in terms of one, pi r squared, and then this guy, right? h r minus r all over r. It looks weird. I know it looks weird, but how many variables are there? One. There's just one, there's just the capital R, okay? So I'm there, I'm ready to differentiate with respect to the radius, okay? Which is really good, I'm in a good position. That was some hard mental work, okay? Um, like I said, you often get guided through it, but I wanted you to sort of work with it before you knew what the I answer was. Okay. okay, now I'm gonna do one more thing before I start differentiating. This is, um, what, what category of function is this to differentiate? Right this second, what does it look like? Now, see, now, interestingly, right, you can answer this in a couple of different ways. Number one, you can say, oh, it's a quotient, because I, I have a division, right? Be like, wait, hold on a second, it's not really a quotient, because that number down there, well, is just a number. Okay, so I might as well put like five or ten there, okay? That's fine. So then what I'm left with is this guy up here, which is a product, right? It's this times this, okay? I could do product rule, but why do product rule when I can reduce it to a polynomial, right? That's much better. So even though this is fine, this is the answer. This is the volume in terms of the radius. I'm going to do one little thing to make it a little bit neater. I'm going to put this guy at the front, that's the, that's the <coughs> coefficient, right? And I'm going to put that capital R squared inside, right? I'm going to expand that a little bit. So I'm going to get this, which looks like it's worse than this, right? Because it's like, wait, this is factorized. Why don't you like factorize it more? It's like, but I don't want to. I want all of the variables together and all of the constants as much as possible separated out so I can just go bam, differentiate one step, okay? Which I'm about to do. So dv on dr equals, okay? Now, because that guy at the front is a constant, I just write him down. No big deal, okay? And then to deal with this, it's just a polynomial. No fancy rules required, okay? So what does this become? Two, two little r, r big R. Right? You can see I'm writing the constants out the front. And this guy becomes three capital R squared. Done. That's not hard, right? In fact, it's all really downhill from here. 